Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of endometrioma. A young married female patient came with dysmenorrhea. She had complained for predominantly pain in the right lower abdomen. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus. It apparently looks normal if the size is within normal limit. This is the transverse section of the uterus and on the right lateral side you can see a hypoechoic oval area. It looks quite homogeneous. If you compare it with the urinary bladder, it is not anechoic. Though the urinary bladder has some artifacts and surely that may make you confused. If you look carefully, there is a posterior acoustic enhancement here. If it was a solid mass, there won't be any posterior acoustic enhancement. So there is some fluid inside it. It is a cystic structure with dense particle inside. These dense particles are the menstrual blood components and this structure is endometrioma. Now when you get confused about the endometrioma or any adnexal cyst, especially if you are working with a low resolution machine, it's better to decrease the gain. Now we have decreased the gain, you see the urinary bladder looks completely anechoic without any internal artifacts and still this structure looks hypoechoic. If it was a simple cyst with some internal artifacts, it would get anechoic after decreasing the gain. So this hypoechoic homogeneous area with low level internal echoes or you may call it internal ground glass pattern is an endometrioma. The right ovary could not be separately visualized here. Let's magnify the image and you can see the homogeneous pattern of this area which goes in favor of endometrioma. Here we have put the color Doppler. We are still confused about the solid nature or the cystic nature. There are two points here. You can see there is no vascularity inside. If it was a solid mass of this size, there should be some vascularity inside. And obviously there is posterior acoustic enhancement which suggests it to be a cystic nature. So here's the picture. You can see the longitudinal and transverse section of the pelvic region. You can see this endometrioma within the right adnexa. Here is another picture and you can see the endometrioma measures about 4.8 cm into 4.7 cm. So it's quite round structure. And on color Doppler there is no vascularity. According to Urat's classification, this structure will go for the Urat's 2 because this is a typical endometrioma. The cystic structure is more than 3 cm and less than 10 cm. And if you go for the color scoring, there is no vascularity inside, so the color score will be 1. So in summary, a well-defined round to oval hypoechoic homogeneous area with fine low level or ground glass internal echoes and posterior acoustic enhancement is noted in the right adnexa. Right ovary could not be separately visualized and color Doppler shows no internal vascularity. So this feature suggested as a case of endometrioma with URADS score of 2 and color score of 1. Now the take home message. In case of transabdominal ultrasound scan, try to decrease the gain to make the urinary bladder anechoic. This will clear your confusion. Adjacent simple cystic structures will become anechoic, but the endometrioma won't. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. We have already started our website that is imagingstudy.com, so don't forget to visit there. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.